Welcome students in my new tutorial based upon MS Word 2016 and today further I'll teach you some formatting effects based upon text that means based upon uh, what we type how to make it more beautiful enhancing so without wasting my time I'll start my tutorial so first of all as you know whenever we have to do any kind of editing or make any changes on the text firstly we have to select it and for selecting the so basic trick is to just press the left mouse button and drag it like this so I have dragged I love my teachers the text simply I have written here and now firstly I want to teach you about these effects text effects and typography that means it will add some flair to your text by applying a text effect uh, means some basic text effects will be added such as shadow or a glow and even we can change that settings so firstly I'll show the, uh, show to you how to do that so you just click here and you could see here basic cool effects like this suppose I have done you see or like this or like this okay now suppose you have selected uh, any effect from here and this effect is okay for you but you want to change the color you always you can change the phone color from here you know very well suppose you can it's okay like this now then uh, this is okay now outline now the outline of the text if you want to change suppose uh, like suppose black earlier it, it was uh, you could see uh, like some somewhat like red if you make it to automatic black then blue suppose now you see the blue one it's okay it's giving the outline as blue blue now again I'll do outline blue red yellow whichever I feel like I can give like green green is looking okay and then the further options based upon this uh, no outline means if I don't want to give any outline I can click it here no outline is there but outline was looking ok for me so I can just select and then more outline color so I click it green then more outline color if you are not satisfied you can always click here and from here you can select the colors red is there or blue is there from here you can increase the power of the color like a little bit blue royal blue type or little mix up of uh, purple and then you can click on ok and before ok you can click on standard from here also you can select the color from different variations of color click on ok and you will see the result like this uh, then doing going further ah uh, yes weight now weight of this border if you want to do you can select from here you could see here see as I am moving downwards the line is becoming more and more heavier and you see the border is also becoming more and more heavier you see more broader rather I should say so I think this is ok then one more option was there if you will see here weight weight I have told you dashes this kind of uh, I have done last time also when I was teaching you some uh, font effects so that time also we have done this kind of effects it, this kind of effects were available there also so I hope so uh, it's not a problem for you so you click on more lines from here you could see different options are there color lines and all now uh, width so these options are already familiar to you so I will not continue with these options again still if you want to go uh, you can just see these effects in my last tutorial so simply till weight it is ok or till dashes it is ok then you want to give some shadow to your text so if you click on this shadow option you could see here uh, suppose these different options are there so suppose I select this one you see the effect 
You could see here, this is the shadow. This one is the shadow, black color. Okay. And here also, plenty of options are available. If you select the shadow once again, you can select any kind of shadow. You want to change. It's like this. See. That means it, it appears that light is appearing from the back. Again, I'll select. I'll again go to shadow. Suppose I select this one and see. Now it's appearing from front. So shadow is going at the back. Now still, if you want to do any kind of further changes, then you can select shadow option from here. You click shadow options. And then you have to go towards the right side, and from here, presets is already shown to you. But still, if you want to show uh, any color from here, that means shadow color. Suppose I make it to green, you could see here the green shadow. But rather, I should say the gray was looking more good uh, because shadow is somewhat like this color only. Then size of the shadow. Then size of the shadow. Uh, how much bigger you want your shadow? See, I hope you could see to it. Wait, I'll just move my text here so that it becomes easier. Now, if I make it to bigger size, shadow is more or less. If I click on blur. It's blurry. Shadow is actually little blurry also. And angle of the shadow. You can change the angle of the shadow. You could see like this. It's changing. And distance. How much far your shadow should be. So I hope all these effects are very much clear to you. Now after this, the second option after shadow is reflection. This is also a very beautiful option. If you want to have some kind of reflection of your text, you can click here. Suppose this option I feel like I should have. You could see how your text is looking like. See, it's giving the reflection. And here also, in the reflection, if you go to reflection options, see, firstly, you can select any kind of reflection option from here if you like. But if you're not satisfied, you can click on reflection option. So always there is settings also. So I'll just off the shadow settings. The reflection settings, I should cover it. Always there are presets. You can select any if you're not satisfied with one. Still, if you're not satisfied, then you can go manually. Transparency of uh, the reflection, you see. The transparency is very less now. Okay. So always again I have to select if I want to do any further changes. Then size you see how much amount of reflection you want to see half so from the size i can have the control blurry if you want to make your reflection little blur as as the case was in when i was teaching you about uh, shadow the same you see it's little blurred now the distance how much far you want your uh, reflection you see here why when I am doing the changes, it is not doing anything? Because I have not simply selected the text. Now it will show each and everything. You see here like this. So I hope these features are also clear and sub options of reflection is also clear to you. So I love this also. Now third one more I want to teach you. I will just select the glow option. This is also very beautiful formatting option. And here you see different glowing options from your different glowing colors. You, suppose I am selecting this one. See my text is looking like this now. So I will again select the text. So, so just now I am I am selecting some other text from here simply just to off other options. It's simple, very fast. Now I will select it again. Now I want to teach you about glow, simply glow I want to use. So like this so that effects looks clearer to you suppose this one this one it sometimes it looks beautiful now more glow options always you can select from 
glow colors like yellow color i have selected then then glow options then always you have the glow options also from here from here you select as I, as i was teaching you earlier color size how much bigger the size you feel like you should have it's looking like this then transparency see if it's zero it's 100% it's showing and then moving towards right side more number means uh, transparency is more uh, means it's little lighter in color the color is lighter in color it's transparent i hope it is clear now so glow is also very much clear to you so all these three options uh, outline shadow reflection and glow is been taught to you so along with glow option as we have covered there is also 3d format option is been given so it only gives you the idea how the text will look like 3d suppose here the pre formats are there i just select some format and you see here it will give you somewhat like option of a 3d and suppose i select some option like this you can see the changes here earlier this option was not there suppose simple it's looking like this now if i select 3d you see it will give you the look of a 3d you can just select you can increase it the increase the size but i should suggest you whatever by default the values are given you just select that only because uh, while giving the 3d uh, the selections and the numbers which are needed for making it as a 3d text is should be very accurate so i'll select i'll prefer to select from here only you could see here it is giving 3d text now and uh, the more i'll teach you about 3d when we'll be doing the shapes ha huh, depth color you can just select the depth color like suppose i'll select black and uh, so here you can't actually uh, wait i have not selected sorry actually uh, it's not showing the back uh, back part otherwise it will show the depth also see little bit it will show then uh, bottom bevel means the bevel means uh, the 3d effect which the effect which make the text coming out is from the other side you can select other either you can't see from in front how it will look like then the other option is contour it gives the black outlining like suppose i'll select it to make it to red so you could see here it is giving the now red outlining earlier it was be, uh, giving black and more i'll make you could see like this this kind of outlining so basic idea of 3d format is very much clear to you okay so this i'll cover it when you will be doing your shapes so today you have learned all this outlining shadow and reflection plus glow effect so with this i'll close my tutorial and if you like my tutorial please do like share and comment and also subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it earlier so okay bye bye take care wait for my next tutorial